our parole star. Hey, this time it's not crooked. They did it properly. So pretty. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. OMG, Mabuhay Squad, we are home. Hi guys! Oh, you have a haircut! Ooh, hi guys! Did you miss us? Did you miss us? We missed you! <laughs> oh boy! Hi guys! <laughs> hey! Hey, Sives! Oh, we missed you! Did you miss us? Did you miss us? I told you I'll be back! I told you I'll be back! Yes! Did you behave? Did you behave? Huh? Oh, we've missed these dogs so much. What's up, Mabuhay Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Hope so. We're back from Australia. And look who's here. Melody. She's so fat. Look at her. You are so cute. She is our farm cat, guys, in case you're new. She used to be so skinny. Like, didn't really look like this. But now she's awesome. I mean, look at her. Stray cats can look like normal house cats if they have good nutrition. She's been spayed and is just really part of the family now. Oh guys, this here is my late lunch. There is so much love in this sandwich. Let me show you. So this bread actually was baked by one of you Mabuhay squad. Yes, from Australia. Remember that meet and greet where the family baked us a whole loaf of awesome bread? We're enjoying it now. Mm. Thank you so much, Rebecca Balsam and family. They were so cute. Anyways, they gave us this bread. We're working on it slowly. It's so delicious. Um, and this salmon, guys, guess what? It was given to us by Richard Alford, also Mabuhay Squad. It was given to us over a year ago, but it's like vacuum sealed in this. It's Pacific Northwest smoked salmon. And it lasts till 2026 but we only opened it now. So I'm putting that on. There's organic natural cream cheese. Yes. Oh, and it's toasted, guys. This is gonna be delicious. Ah, this is gonna be a good sandwich. I usually don't eat a lot of bread, like rarely, but since this recent trip to Australia, OMG, bread galore. And now I like love it. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> There's so much love here. I taste the Mabuhay Squad love. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. Healthy food is so yummy. Mabuhay Squad. This cream cheese, home baked bread, and smoked salmon. Five Mabuhay stars. Guys, RJ wants one now. Yes! Ooh, nice and toasty. Ow. Love it. Mm, perfect. Yes. A sandwich made with love. Mmm. Oh, yes. RJ's working. Here you go, uh, guys, I am so happy to be back home and I can't wait to get in the pool. Oh, water is slightly cold. Ooh, so refreshing. I've missed this pool. Come. Oh, it's refreshing and cool. It's been raining for the past few days, so the water isn't as warm as it used to be or that it usually is when it's sunny. But I don't care. I've missed the pool. So happy to be back home! Yes! Ah! Let's look at our beautiful, gorgeous, lush forest, shall we? See? Such nice trees. Oh, forest is so thick. It's totally in its prime right now. I want you guys to see the aviary. Let's go. Oh, it, this is wet concrete here. Oh, it's wet. Wow. They finished the pavement. Let's go there and see. Come. All right. Oh, wow. <gasps> Sweet. 
So this looks like a drain. Yep. This is where all the poo will wash down. I see, I see. Oh, the birds will have so much room to fly. Look, all the way from here, the birds can fly here. They can fly all the way here. All the way here, all the way to this end. Sweet. Love it. Oh, this is amazing. So cool. See? These pergolas, which we bought just from our like SNR, which is like our Costco here in the Philippines. It's just attached onto here, like so, directly into these concrete foundational pillars. And I believe they are going to mesh this very soon. There will be a roof to, you know, protect the birds from the elements. Although rain is good for the birds. I haven't decided, we haven't decided yet whether we'll leave one area without a roof, but the rest will have a roof because in the summer, guys, the birds will really need the shade. Um, and they can always get sunlight and rain through the sides because rain doesn't only fall straight down. It often falls on an angle, especially when there's wind. Super cool. This here is the mesh that we'll be using for the outside of the aviary. So guys, Maybe. guess what? For the rest of the world, it might seem a bit early, but for Filipinos, it's well into Christmas season. In September, we start Christmas season here. Um, and so we're busting out the Christmas decor now. Yay! Ooh. Is the team coming tomorrow? Yeah. There's a team coming in to assist RJ in decorating the tree, um, which is here. So remember last year when we moved in, guys? Our first Christmas here at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. Um, this will be our second Christmas now. So we have the tree packed from last year. Uh, the team is coming in tomorrow to set it up, to help RJ set up. And my deal, our deal, me and RJ's deal, because our tastes are different was that the very first year, the tree would be just classic design. So, you know, our balls, like just random, you know how it is, you know how we do it, traditional Christmas tree, nothing too crazy. It looked great with a star on top. And the deal is this year, RJ gets to completely have creative control. Are you using the same decor? Oh, same decor? Oh, okay. I, Okay, so we're using the same decor. I totally thought RJ was gonna make it a, a purple Christmas tree or something with like gold and like orange, you know. Uh, but we'll see. So we're using the same decor. Okay, so it'll still be a traditional style. I'm surprised. I thought you were gonna do something else. So now, these were given to us by Richard Alford. Richard gave us so many things, seriously, like over the years. Richard, honestly, you're so so thoughtful and look these are personalized ornaments with the names of our pets our names rj see clara Brittany. i love it even the gaia our like late african gray parrot at the lc see oh i love christmas oh wow i just got back from the gym guys and look Hi! Oh, I've missed this tree. This is the base. It's got little pine cones. It's so cute. Obviously a fake tree, but we can use it year after year. All right. Here's the decor. Wow. Guys, meet Eric and Paolo helping us set up the decor. Ooh. There's Ate Jun. Hi, Ate Jun. This is our landscaper. I know, you're part of the family now. <laughs> That's gonna look pretty epic. Oh, how beautiful. And look at the way the light is just streaming in. We've got our nativity scene. We're just missing barn animals and stuff. Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. It's so beautiful already. Even just bare. Yay. Hey. And guys, look, the star. Our parol star. Hey, this time it's not crooked. They did it properly. So pretty. Oh my, it's so beautiful. I love it. 
Isn't it nice size? Oh, it's so beautiful. They decorated it better than we did last year when we did it ourselves. <laughs> Everything is so even, like no matter where you go around. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> I love it. What do you guys think, Mabuhai Squad? Is it cute? Is it cute? I have to put more things. RJ's gonna put more things, he says. Oh, I love the top. I love what they did to the top. The light is broken, so we have to go. Uh, we're gonna redo the light at the star. The parol, Filipino star-shaped lantern made of uh, shells. Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh, so good. All right, guys, I'm eating my overnight oats. See? Um, with yogurt, Greek yogurt. I was watching this amazing um, interview on a podcast I love watching called Diary of a CEO. And it was a, an interview with an expert on microbiome. Guys, totally what we've been talking about in these vlogs, right? All the trillions of microbes in your gut. Now, when you have a healthy gut microbiome, complete overall health follows. Like literally having healthy uh, gut and microbes living in your intestine, it controls everything from mental health to immunity to every, like everything. A healthy gut biome decreases your chance of cancer, heart disease, like so much. Depression, allergies. Um, it's like studies now are pointing to how those little trillions of microbes that help you digest food in your intestines are responsible for everything in your body. So um, one of the things I learned is that things like these, this overnight oats is so good for the micro gut because it's got a ton of nuts and seeds in it. You guys know this recipe I've done. Lots of different nuts and seeds. Apparently, if you have a handful of nuts and seeds a day, it decreases, it increases your longevity by 15%. Isn't that crazy? And so I definitely have a handful of nuts every day. So what I am adding here are fruits, just to give it that nice little flavor. And then I'm going to also add some organic cacao. One teaspoon of organic cacao. Ooh, this is gonna be chocolatey. Now another thing I saw in that interview is that it's recommended that you have at least 30 different plant constituents in your diet. And I did a list and yeah, I hit the 30 mark. Every nut and seed also counts as a plant. Um, this chocolate, this cacao also counts as a plant. Um, and I, I hit around 30 to 35 different plants. Fruits count as plants, obviously. Healthy gut biome, look at that. I know it doesn't look so appetizing, but mmm. And you know what else I'm gonna add here to give it that extra oomph? Yakult. This is the Japanese probiotic yogurt drink. Oh yeah. Even more microbes, yes. They're like a little biosphere in your in digestive tract. They're my little pets. And we're about to add a lot more little pets and a lot more food for those little pets. All the, the oatmeal, the nuts and seeds, the cacao, it offers food. The fruits, it offers food for all the microbes in your gut. They wake up and they're like, mmm, food. And they proliferate and become more multitudinous in your gut. Ooh, yes, about to seed the microbiotics in my gut now. Just got back from the gym. Mmm, mmm, so healthy. Welcome home, microbes, welcome home. All right, guys, let's see our pond. Ooh, love it. So it's really green now, murky, um, which is expected because it's still in the process of stabilizing. But it doesn't mean that it's unlivable and dirty. The plants are doing well, it seems. Let's see if we can find our turtles. Let's see, let's see. Our filter, still functional, good. Where are the turtles? Man, lots of leaves have fallen in, but it's okay, because this will be 
a fully functioning system soon so all biological waste and decaying matter will be dealt with where are the turtles i wonder they're in here somewhere oh donatello turbo where art thou gosh i love this waterfall so beautiful isn't it gorgeous i see guppies swimming around in there the other day i saw um toads mating in here so for sure we're gonna have uh tadpoles in here soon but where is turbo and donatello Ooh, look guys we've thrown in pieces of kong kong to start growing um and we're gonna we're gonna harvest it because we eat a lot of kong kong a lot of our animals eat kong kong that will start growing soon oh guys i see tadpoles already right there see them they're swimming around already all right see it so cute <laughs> They're also helping eat the waste and decaying matter in the pond. This is a fully functioning system. Oh well guys, looks like we're gonna have to uh, come back to find our turtles. <laughs> I mean, unless they're on the land somewhere, that's another possibility. All right, guys, RJ is finally in the pool. He's just cleaning some leaves because a lot of leaves fell today and yesterday. We also have Polly, our robot vacuuming. Hey Rizal, sorry to film you while you're peeing. <laughs> you good boy, pee pee pee. Brittany, hey Brits, come. Oh, she smells something. So, um, I see Billy way down there, grazing as usual. Check out the aviary. They, they've welded braces now. So like cross, braces all the way across up here see that and all the way down Ooh, guys it's starting to become real so our double door will be right here right here in the middle uh, to enter the aviary wow guys soon this will be done i can't get over that we can finally move in our birds and i can't wait to see them flying back and forth what a beautiful day it is today guys Seriously, blue skies. I just finished editing an Ants Canada video. Been working all day. It's good. But guys, I have to admit something. <laughs> Didn't vlog a lot yesterday because something happened to me. I got out of my the sauna just on the other side of the pool. And I grabbed a, a, a towel that had been hanging in my bedroom for I don't know how long. I'm like, I'll just use this. Wrapped it around myself. And then I started to walk to my pantry to go take some vitamins. And all of a sudden I started feeling like... Felt like something sharp. A bunch of sharp, like, shards around my waist area. So I'm like, okay, it's probably just, I don't know, extra firm fibers that are, like, digging into my ever-tender skin after the sauna. So then <laughs> I'm walking into the pantry and then I'm like, okay, ouch, no. There's some there's something poking me. It hurts. Guys, I looked at the towel. It was a whole colony of feral ants. Little tiny stinging ants. And they were stinging me all over. Then the little like scratches really felt like stinging. And I was like, ah! It burned. And all of yesterday I was so itchy. And like I now have. Do you see them? They're like a bunch of bites all over, bites all over my body, including places where the sun don't shine. So I'm like scarred and swollen and itchy. Um, but yeah, I've put some calomile lotion on it. And obviously I laughed because I love ants, but funny, they don't love me. Lesson learned here in the tropics, Check your towels before putting them around you, especially if you're naked. Oh, can you imagine? What a funny story. 
Guys, mmm, pasta with mushrooms, garlic, and there's ampalaya with egg, yum. We got steaks, mm-hmm. And Atelsi is making pasta. Yes, mmm. Good morning. Wow, guys, I love waking up and seeing this. It's got such good energy and feels. Now, RJ says this is not done. He would like to add, like, to this tree um, as we go along. Because this tree is exactly like it was last year. With just some minor changes. Like these, this little top part, that's kind of new. We were just sticking them all over the tree wherever last year. But um, RJ wants to add more various ornaments and stuff to the tree. But I think it looks beautiful. I love it. Such good feelings. I know for some, this is early because we haven't even celebrated Halloween yet. And for Canadians, Thanksgiving is this Monday. And for Americans, Thanksgiving is November. So it might be a little early, but I feel those who say it's early are also like they dread Christmas because they gotta buy Christmas gifts, right? They gotta, some people wanna try to lose weight so that, you know, they look good at family parties. Like there's a lot of anxiety that goes with Christmas. Like, oh man, I gotta shell out money. But oh no, the good things about Christmas, that's what I love. It's about like, you know, that childlike innocence and cheer, waking up, opening presents, being kind to one another. Although we should be kind to one another all year, all the time. But you know, it's that whole thing. The birthday of Jesus, being solemn, prayer. There's just so many good things about Christmas that I love. And I love that we celebrate it early. Let's say good morning to the birds. Good morning, birds. And here they come. Hi. Come. Come, come, come. Good morning. Yes. Soon you guys will have so much space to fly this way. Not just up and down now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at them. Oh! Okay, Gabriella's gonna come. Are you coming? Watch this. Oh, hi guys. This is Gabriella and Ruby, always the first two to come say hello. Oh, you guys should see the new house we have for you guys. It's beautiful. You guys will love it. Oh, and here is, um, this here, Scarlet. Hi, guys. Good morning. Ooh. Hi, Scarlet. Can I get a kiss? Oh, wow. That's the first time you let me kiss you like that. Mm -hmm. Are you really Scarlet? Or are you Ruby? Guys, I can't tell anymore. Where's Rojo? Oh, he's eating. There's Rojo. Hi, Ro. Oh, you guys are stinky. So, the birds have these crimson belly conures have a certain smell. I like it. It's just different. Hard to explain. What does it smell like? It smells like wood. A type of wood. Hard to explain. How do you explain your smell? It's slightly floral, slightly fruity, slightly spicy. And right now they're like going through their bowl, eating seeds from last night. Hi guys. I can't wait for you guys to see your new home. It's huge. I think you guys will love it. And you'll get to see the outside world, not just from up there. This time you'll have the outside world 360 degrees around you guys. This will be awesome. You'll feel wind, true wind. Sorry for all of you guys with <laughs> headphones. But this is what happy parrots sound like. They scream. Hi. They scream especially at sunrise. They scream at the sun. So these parrots see this glass and brick all around. 
It's all they've known. They've been surrounded by... Well, no, they've, they've lived in a cage before. But this is... This is all they've been accustomed to. In their new home, they'll have lots of things to look at. Lots of stimulation. Um, I can't wait to decorate their new home. And lots of room to fly. Hey guys! <laughs> Are you excited? To see the outside? I mean, I'll miss seeing you guys through the window, but I'll be able to see you every day, even from our bedroom window, which is new. Guys, I also can't wait to decorate this entire aviary the way I always wanted to, with trees and vines and branches and beautiful garden. Um, not to say that it's not beautiful now, it is, but um, it isn't exactly as beautiful and landscaped as I would have wanted it to be. Again, for those of you who follow the vlogs, having parrots in this aviary was largely experimental. I thought I could just put a bunch of plants and if there were enough plants, the destruction of the birds would not match the growth of the plants collectively, but that was wrong. <laughs> I learned that the birds are destructive. There are no plants that are safe from the birds. Not even bamboo, which is the one of the fastest growing plants ever. Not even bamboo is safe. See that Buddha bamboo? That used to be a huge bush. They killed that. But I must say it has been an awesome experience having this aviary over the past year and you know living with the birds directly in the middle of the house. They've brought me and our guests and our team, our house staff, so much joy. But living in the outdoor aviary will be a lot better for them for so many reasons. <laughs> ah, they're so cute. Hi, Magnus. There's Magnus. Oh, you ate all your food. Good. I think one of our workers put this plant here. I don't think he ate it. I think this has been eaten by, looks like pests. But don't want him to be eating this plant. I don't know if this is toxic or not. We gotta let our staff know. But anyways, I love seeing an empty bowl all the time. Eat so well. And guys, guys, Magnus is shedding. Don't be scared, sorry. Sorry, it's just me. Just me. Mm -hmm. Hi, Magnus. It's just me. Good boy. Yeah. Let me help you shed. There. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone now. You have some here on your sleeve. Ooh. Okay, that doesn't want to come off yet. Let's let it come off naturally. Sleep well. Oh, he's looking so good, guys. So fat. Okay, guys, let's see if we can see the turtles before they escape. Where are they at? I heard that Turbo has been crawling on the land. I bet she is starting to lay eggs. I don't see the turtles right now. Here's our biological filter. Yes. Grow, bacteria, grow. Although it should have a little bit more water. Here's Adam and Eve. Winding down for the evening. Hi guys! And guys, I can't wait for this farming lot to develop. We're really gonna start working on it when we come back from Canada. Look, there is so much land here, guys. See down there? I could plant so many things! And then into this forest. Build my dream food forest. There's a lot of space here to plant things and house things. This is gonna be an ongoing project. For all for the rest of 2023 and all of 2024 you guys know this place this is our sauna I come here often I'll probably do this later before dinner Love this dry sauna shower so guys I just love looking at this forest um, I wanted to show you something really cool that I didn't know because I grew up in Canada and we don't really have bamboo growing in the wild, so 
I wanted to show you something cool about bamboo. So look at, do you see this stalk? See that right there? It looks kind of wispy. Doesn't really look like bamboo like the rest. Like this here is bamboo. That up there is bamboo. So bushy, right? But every few stalks, you'll see these like thin branches with no leaves. So what those are, are new bamboo. So the way it works is they send up these new bamboo shoots. It first looks like this one right here. See that one right there? It's just one long thin stalk. And then the next stage is it grows these little wispy sort of thin twigs. See that? This one is starting to grow those wispy twigs. And these ones here also wispy twigs. And I was like, what is this? And then eventually I realized those wispy twigs each grow their own leaves. And then eventually once the whole thing is full of leaves, it looks like a mature bamboo stalk, tree, whatever it is. Isn't that cool? Did you know that bamboo grows like that? I didn't. Isn't that neat? Bamboo is so fascinating. And it just, I love how it like blows with the wind. It's so flexible and it's so prolific. Like during rainy season, it really exploded. I mean, this whole forest, this whole rainy season really exploded. Anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys because bamboo is so cool. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this. See that? That's a nest. And there's a pair of chestnut munias in there. They look like little maroon finches with bluish beaks. They're so cute. We've had several nests all around the property. And I love that they've chosen to nest in this um, miniature date tree, palm tree. Oh yeah, here's one thing I wanted to show you guys. Remember when we chopped this banana tree down? Remember? And then we harvested the bananas and accidentally we had killed a tree that was beside it. Well, look, that tree, which didn't bear fruit yet, said, you know what? My life purpose is not done. I still must bear fruit. And look, it's growing back. Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. See how resilient banana trees are? You could totally chop off the entire tree and it'll grow back. That is fantastic. See, when you set your foundational roots down deep, resilience is all you know. Wow, this banana tree here is massive. I can't wait for that to bear fruit. Oh yeah, guys, I have an update for you. <gasps> Remember my hot peppers? Look at them, they're so big. Isn't, isn't that awesome? They like, it took them forever to sprout and now they are massive. Yay! This here is, um, it's Silly Demonio. It's a hybrid between um, our chili peppers here that we call Silly Labuyo and Carolina Reaper. So it's really hot and I can't wait for peppers to go, ow, ow, more, ow, ants. Ow, Carabara Diversa, ow. Oh my gosh, there's so many here. Awesome. There's a whole trail of them. Oh wow, look. This one has super majors. Ow, 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 but they're biting me. Man, what's it with me and getting bitten by ants? Ow. Uh, all right guys, so I'm going to swim, enjoy the pool, wind down, enjoy this Sunday. Um, it's my day off from work, except for like vlogging a little. But yeah, I'm really excited because in one week, we are going to Canada, guys. OMG, yay. Um, that beach, that's gonna be so fun. And actually, it's not just a Toronto trip. We're going to Toronto, my hometown. I'm gonna show you where my family lives. I haven't been back home since four years ago. So if you're a new subscriber, I can't wait to show you Toronto, my hometown. My home, where I'm from, where my parents live, where I grew up. I love that. Can't wait for that. Show you my neighborhood. More home-cooked meals. Mm. But then, also, we're going to head over to New Jersey, guys. For those of you who watch the Ants Canada channel, I'm having a meet and greet 
at uh, in New Jersey. And so I'm meeting mostly, well, the AC family. So if you watch the Ants Canada channel, feel free to come down. But you guys are invited too. I mean, I'm the same person. So uh, feel free to visit theartchild.com to get your tickets uh, for that meet and greet in New Jersey. That's October the 22nd. Then we're going to go around New York. And then we're going to fly over to Montreal, which I consider my third home. Because <laughs> I lived there for a little bit on my own to find myself in my 20s. Ah, I can't wait to go there in Montreal, show you around um, there, eat, and also show you my very first apartment where I lived by myself for the first time in my life um, 15 years ago. So I'm excited for that too. And guys, guess what? Ed, Mark, and Nika are also joining us through all of this. They're gonna be flying in from US because they have work there. It's just gonna be so fun, guys. Um, I get to see my family. We're gonna go visit Niagara Falls. Ah, can't wait, yay! Um, so, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Uh, really means a lot to us that you guys are joining us on this entire journey of this home building process because our home is done, but our work here at home is not done. It's a constant work in progress, guys. Um, so thank you for being part of that journey with us. If you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps a lot to let YouTube know that you enjoy these uh, videos and that they're worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, do hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Yes, I'll see you guys in the next vlog here at the Mabuhay squad farmhouse. Bye guys, love you. Mm -hmm.